In our quest for direction and purpose, have we overlooked the timeless guidance embedded within the sacred symbols of our past? As we navigate through the complexities of modern life, it's easy to feel lost in the chaos that swirls around us. Yet ancient paths may hold the keys to our present puzzles. Today we'll embark on a journey through the pages of scripture to uncover the mysteries of one such path, revealing how a simple number, the biblical number seven, can offer profound insights into our daily lives and spiritual quests. Did you know that the number seven is more than just a figure on a page, appearing over 700 times in the Bible? Its presence weaves through the fabric of biblical narrative, from the creation of the world to the unfolding of the final prophecies. This pattern is no mere coincidence. It's a divine fingerprint that has left an indelible mark on the story of salvation. Join us as we unravel this enigma, exploring the depth of its influence and the wisdom it holds for us today. As we immerse ourselves in the tale of creation, it's not just a story of the cosmos coming into being, but a profound lesson interwoven into the very structure of our weeks. Consider how the world was shaped in six days, culminating in a day of divine rest. This rhythm, set in motion at the dawn of time, resonates through the ages, anchoring our lives in a pattern of work and repose. In today's unyielding rush for productivity, the principle of Sabbath emerges not as a relic of the past, but as a necessary pause, offering sanctuary from the relentless grind. It begs us to reflect. Are we honoring the tempo set forth by our Creator, allowing ourselves the rest that rejuvenates both body and spirit? Imagine the transformative impact such a practice could have amid the burnout epidemic sweeping through our digital age. The seven-day cycle beckons us to break free from the tyranny of the urgent, to realign with a cadence that nourishes our deepest parts. It's a divine invitation to rediscover balance, echoing across millennia to remedy modern malaise. Let us then uncover how this ancient blueprint serves not just as a historical account, but as a template for holistic living, infusing our weeks with purpose and restorative peace. As we delve deeper into the mystery of the number seven, we uncover its role in purification and the divine aspect of judgment. In biblical times, this numeral signified more than just quantity. It represented a process of making things complete and holy. The ancient Hebrews practiced a ritual of cleansing, captured in Leviticus, where something or someone unclean was sprinkled with purified water on the third and seventh day. This act was not merely about physical cleanliness, but a restoration to a state of wholeness, allowing one to re-enter the community and stand in the presence of God. Imagine the resonance of such a practice in our world today, where the concept of purifying one's life can extend beyond the physical to the moral and spiritual. Take, for instance, the story of Jericho, where the Israelites encircled the city for six days, and on the seventh, with trumpets blaring and shouts rising to the heavens, the walls crumbled. Here the number seven again emerges as a symbol of God's deliverance and the completion of a divinely orchestrated mission. Picture a modern parallel where personal battles and societal challenges loom like imposing walls. Might we draw inspiration from this narrative, seeking the patience and faith to see our struggles overcome in fullness of time? To explore this further, listen to the insights of Dr. Eliana Smith, a noted biblical scholar. Through these stories, we see that the number seven is not arbitrary, but intentional, serving as a reminder of God's plan for completeness in all things. Our own lives are punctuated by moments calling for renewal and ethical resolution, echoing this quest for integrity and the pursuit of an upright heart. Whether it's within our families, workplaces, or wider communities, we too are invited to seek completeness, to build our metaphorical seven days that lead to the crumbling of walls and the realization of a purposeful life that mirrors divine intent. In our journey through the scriptural landscape, we arrive at a pivotal waypoint, the prophetic significance of the number seven. Within the pages of Daniel and Revelation, seven transforms from numerical fact to divine beacon, guiding us through the complexities of prophecy and apocalyptic vision. The imagery of seven churches, seven lampstands, and seven stars stretches beyond mere symbols, they map out a pattern of spiritual completeness and the meticulous governance of God over the unfolding tapestry of history. As we pause here, 
let's ponder an invitation to introspection. How does the concept of completeness represented by the number seven inspire you in your spiritual walk? Recall the seven spirits of God that bestow wisdom and understanding, gifts offered to believers for navigating life's trials with divine foresight. Envision yourself amidst the seven churches of Asia Minor, each reflecting a distinct facet of the church universal, and consider where your own faith community aligns within this spectrum. These sevens are not simply relics of ancient text, but rather active, pulsing messages beckoning us towards growth and readiness for God's ultimate plan. Contemplate on this. In a world quick to declare the end of times at every tumultuous turn, how do we harness the teaching of these sevenfold mysteries to foster resilience and hope? Reflect on your own reflections of these enigmatic sevens, and in the quietude of your heart, seek the assurance and peace they were intended to instill within us all. As we delve deeper into the symbolism of the number seven, our attention turns toward the intricate balance between the spiritual and the scientific, and how this number transcends the pages of the Bible to influence our cognitive experience. Consider this. Psychologists reference the magical number seven as a key factor in the capacity of human memory and comprehension, noting that we can hold between five and nine chunks of information in our short-term memory, with seven being the average. Imagine the notches of a measuring stick, each representing an aspect of your life where balance and focus play a crucial role. These notches could include personal growth, family, career, service, rest, learning, and spirituality. Herein lies an extraordinary correlation. Just as seven days comprise a week, could it be that the organization of our lives around these seven facets stems from a divine blueprint? This brings forth a compelling invitation to examine the rhythm of our existence through the lens of Scripture. Now envision a captivating visual aid, a series of images illustrating the seven colors of the rainbow, the seven notes in a musical scale, or the seven wonders of the ancient world. What do these groups have in common? They echo the concept of completion and perfection communicated by the number seven. Through these visual representations, we can grasp the widespread presence and significance of this number, reflecting a pattern intricately woven into the very fabric of creation. In today's fast-paced environment, where the pressure to multitask and the demands on our attention are relentless, embracing the simplicity of seven can offer a reprieve. By aligning our lives with this biblically-backed rhythm, we may unlock a pathway to enhanced mental acuity and spiritual peace. As you consider your weekly schedule, remember the creation narrative and the call to rest on the seventh day. It is an opportunity for renewal and reconnection with God's perfect order. Let us ponder how adopting the scriptural essence of the number seven could transform our approach to life's complexities. Might we find greater harmony in our relationships, our work, and our spiritual pursuits by mirroring the completeness that this divine number represents? As scripture implores us to seek wisdom and understanding, integrating the number seven into our daily decisions could very well serve as a compass, directing us toward a more centered, purposeful existence. As we bring our journey through the profound symbolism of the number seven to a close, let's hold on to the essence of what we've explored together. This extraordinary number is not just a historical artifact to admire from afar. It is a living, breathing guide that can shape the way we organize our lives, prioritize our days, and seek fulfillment in the divine blueprint laid out for us. The number seven invites us on a path to wholeness, urging us to look beyond the surface of our routines and to infuse our actions with intentionality and purpose. In the silent moments of reflection, ponder the ways this symbol of completion can be woven into the fabric of your daily life. How can the timeless wisdom encapsulated in this simple digit inspire you to create a rhythm of rest, renewal, and connection to something greater than yourself? We encourage you to embrace the challenges and complexities of life with the knowledge that, like the intricate patterns of Scripture, every aspect of your existence can be touched by God's perfect order. As you step forward into the days ahead, carry with you the insights and inspiration from our exploration of the number seven. Let it be a lamp unto your feet, guiding you through the ebbs and flows of life's demands. And as always, we invite you to join the conversation.
Share how this journey has impacted you, offer your own reflections, and contribute to the collective wisdom of our growing community. Don't hesitate to subscribe to Divine Light for more enlightening content where ancient wisdom meets modern living. Share this video with others who might find solace in these teachings and consider joining our online forum or attending a group study to further unpack the transformative power of biblical symbols like the number seven. Together, let's continue to shine a light on the path laid out for us one step at a time as we seek to live lives marked by balance, harmony, and the divine calling towards completeness. Thank you for walking this path with us today, and may you find peace and purpose as you apply these sacred principles to your own divine quest.